dual score 10-0 here. Matches brought to you by Defense Soap. Kent State with the first three matches here. We're going to be looking at the heavyweight bout. So Berthold going to be taking on Kelby. Front headlock Berthold. Berthold from Midview, Ohio. Cowboy from Smithville. He's a Smithville Smithy. So Cowboy and of course you're looking at the big Berthold there, the Cradler. The state's got a couple of them. So CSU needs to get on the board here. Really needs to get on the board. Kent State wins this one. They only got to win one more to probably win this duel. So. Josh Moore asking a lot out of John Kelbley. Berthold's doing a nice job of pulling his head down. And we got double ankle bands. I like that. I'm a double ankle band guy. Even though I don't think you'd need them like at all. But oh, sick blast double. But he can't get the wizard out. Oh, that was nice. Kelbley doing a great job. And he had him crunched. Pulling it back in bounds. Kelby doing a great job of fighting here. Spencer Bergold's got him crunched. Oh, 50-50 position. Oh, oh, he's got it. Two takedown. Kelby had it. He was fighting. He had it fought off. And then Bergold kept wrestling through the position. Got the takedown. And now Kelby got to watch getting cradled. And now left boots in for Spencer Berthold. Berthold, the mid-view midi with the Smithville Smithy. I, I, I actually think that's their mascots. I'm not even joking. It might not be mid-views, but that's Smithville's. We're at 285 here. Kent State 10-0 dual score. And there's the cradle. We're off the mat. So probably going to be getting Bailed out by the whistle there. Out of bounds, gets him, saves him. 46 seconds of ride time, Spencer Berthold. One minute remains here in the period. Match is brought to you by Defensive. Defensive, depend what you built. You know, I might add I'm wearing a Barbarian hoodie as well. He's got the cradle, he had it. He had it again. And Probably got to find a way off the mat. And Berthold had it almost. Got him flattened out. 30 seconds remains here. Good pressure on top. Kelby, oh, nice job. Limp legs out of it. He was up and out there. And now the cross face flattens him back out. 15 now. So, Berthold's going to have a 2-0 lead. Over 140 a ride time here. And Kelby did a nice job of taking that boot out, scooting away, but Berthold in control here. Choice Kelby, he's going to go defer. But Spencer's going to go underneath, it looks like. So Kelby gonna have to find some type of ride here. Pinning combination, something to get to it. Kelby covers. Now he's got a boot in. Berthold up to his feet immediately. Hands locked. Gotta return him, he does that. And now boot coming in for Kelby. Kelby's got double boots in, looking to stretch him out. Oh man, now he's trying to shake him high. And Berthold just got to stay on his feet. Shoves him off. Kelby does a nice job there. Two opposite body frames. Berthold, big tall guy. Kelby, probably about 5'9, 5'10, heavyweight. Kelby covers. 
Hubbly boot comes in. Now he's trying another boot. Berthold up. He's got to try and flatten him out here. Ooh, he's got to get those hands out. If he flattens him out, it could hurt him. Great ride here. Great ride here. Going to get some near falls here. As Berthold's trying to take the foot out, it comes out. And Berthold. There's the near. Oh, there's near falls. He's not seeing criteria. Now he throws a half. He can get his hips on top. He can pet him. Oh, there it is. Got near falls. Probably going to have a 4-2 lead after this. Is he holding four? There's four. Berthold flattens out. Calvi shows the hands. And now double boots are in. 34 seconds. He's going to get more. He's got more. There it is. And now Berthold's trying to spin his hips through. There's going to be two more. 6-2 lead. Probably doing the job on the mat now. He's going full Mitch Clark. He might pin him. He's on top looking for a ball here. CSU needs it. Oh, man. He's going to pin him. 10 seconds. There it was. Fought through it. Five now. Going to pin him here. Short time. Saved by the ball. No, and the clock was out. Time was out. I've got it. But he's going to go look at it. Time was definitely out for about a second. But I thought he had him pinned earlier. Time was definitely out. And CSU wants to control the mat area, which I agree, and Gracie was on the mat. Should definitely be a point. If we had an assisting, Kent State would be losing a point. So the CSU coaches are not wrong with the control of mat point. Uh, Penn State lost a point last night against Iowa for the same thing. My angle time is definitely out. I had this clock in the background. So the getting the call here from Ken and Tagliano. Control of that area. So Kent State's gonna. Okay, so they're gonna say no fall. And Kelby's gonna choose top. He goes Mitch Clark, take top. He's got a 10 2 lead. And Berthold up to his feet. Kelby, gotta put him down. Does a nice job. He's gonna throw boots and probably try and turn him again. Boot comes in. No real attempt to stop him. Now Berthold going hay baler. Falls on top of him. Now he can have Kelby in some trouble. Gets a reversal. That actually is going to negate the major decision. That makes it 10 to 5. I think it was 10 to 4 because it was 10 to 2. The score is wrong. They got the score 10 5 on the board. It's 10 10 4. So now Berthold got to try and stay on top. He dominates the first period, and it gets turned three times in the second. Gets a reversal in the third when Kelby chose top. He went Mitch Clark, take top. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built. And now Berthold got the cradle. He's down big here. He had it locked up. Kelby's going to bail. 51 seconds left here. And Berthold. 
looking cradle city, folks. Calvary's up big right now, but Berthold could turn him over and pin him here. The cradle's just stall underneath. Score's actually 10 to four, it's not 10 to five. So actually that would be huge because if Calvary could reverse him, that would give them a major decision. This is gonna be huge. It's actually gonna be a two point swing because he should have had a pin. Should have been only a three point swing. Should have been a three point swing instead of a two point swing, but Kent State loses a team point for control of that. I don't know if they lost a team point, but Kelby's gonna pick up a 10 four decision here for CSU and get them on the board. It's gonna make it 10 to three. Calbly with the win. 